in the 90s, if you were a toy collector, you most likely bought Toy Fair magazine. Unless you were a toy snob like me, the junk man. I was into Action Figure News Digest and Action Figure Toy Review. Just the Toy Fair one seemed a little bit more key to me because I was a collector that had my nose in the air. One thing I found those little bubble cartoons, not really all that funny. But I admit that I'm out of the majority of this with a lot of people in the 90s loved Toy Fair magazine. It was put out by the company Wizard that did really well with comic book news. Now I was a fan of buying Wizard so you think I would like Toy Fair but I just never could really get into it. But every once in a while, if they had something good in it, I would buy it. One thing I did like about Toy Fair that the other magazines really didn't do is that they would have exclusive action figures. Now these were made by Hasbro. Most of the time they weren't characters that you would find at the store based on comic books. Some of them were characters that were at the store, but for the most part, most of them was the lesser known characters that they didn't think would sell at stores probably. But I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some of these Toy Fair exclusives. First up, we have Morph. I don't know who Morph is, but he's from the Age of Apocalypse. As you can see, it's from Wizard, Marvel Comics, and Toy Biz, although it was manufactured by Hasbro. Now, next up is a character I do know, although he was kind of a minor character in the 90s, Ant-Man. He's a little bit more known now thanks to the Marvel Universe and his own films, but here he is, comes inside of a box of matches. It's a really small Ant-Man, but I think it's kind of cool box. Another one we have from 1998 was Bullseye. There he is in his bullseye costume. And we have Daredevil. That's another character that's really well known now. Don't really like the look of this Daredevil, to be honest with you. Now you might think this is some kind of hip looking Superman, but it's not. It's Eradicator Superman. I'll be honest, I don't really know who this is or what it's based on. I guess something from the comics, but it's from 1998 and it's five inches tall. One of the female exclusive Toy Fair exclusives was the 1998 Firestar. Woo, that's a good looking action figure right there. And one that's more on the comical side of things was Phone Bone. Phone home, Mr. Phone Bone. And this guy here probably didn't protect the galaxy, but he could have because he's a guardian. Released in 1998. And we have the mysterious Havoc. I probably said that wrong. Go ahead and tell me in the comment section. Here's a wannabe Catwoman, Kitty Pride, Also known as Shadow Cat. Meow. I never did order any of the exclusive figures, but here's one that I was tempted to get, Madman, released in 1998. And here's one that looks like a lot of fun, Molten Man. These are some strange names. Speaking of strange names and a strange looking action figure, what about Multiple Man? I don't know about you, but he's kind of weird looking, and his name, it just reminds me of math, and I don't want to think about him. We've all heard about the Green Arrow, well, what about his cousin, the Red Arrow? You could have got that in 2000. Thanks to this Toy Fair exclusive. And what if you wanted an action figure of Flash, but he ran backwards? Here you go, Reverse Flash. Wait a minute, Reverse Flash? I don't know if that means he runs backwards, or maybe he just runs really slow. Well, let's say you were a fan of the Hulk, but you wanted a female Hulk wearing a Fantastic Four shirt. You could get that with She-Hulk. And in 1998, you could sync up with Sync. Now, if you wanted someone to join a union with you, you could get your Union Jack figure in 1998 as this Toy Fair exclusive. And if there's a Wonder Woman, you know there had to be a Wonder Man. And here he is. I love the big W on his shirt. That way he knows it's his shirt if he ever takes it off at the gym. And probably the most massive Toy Fair exclusive was the 2017 Revolutions box set. This is where a bunch of action figure lines came together. You had Transformers, Mask, Visionaries, Action Man, Rom, G.I. Joe, and even Micronauts. This was an impressive set right here. Well, that's a look at the exclusive action figures released from Toy Fair. Again, manufactured by Hasbro. But let me know what you think. Did you read Toy Fair? I know I was the only snob in the 90s. I just, I never really liked it. I don't know why. Again, I just thought I was better. I was like, I'm, that's for teenage toy collectors, man. I'm an adult, man. I'm like 27. I'm not buying that silly stuff. I don't know. Looking back now, I know I was kind of a snob about it. So it looks like I missed out. It just seemed a little more kiddie than the action figure news magazines I was buying. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thumb up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.